Hello and welcome to the Half-Ass Homestead. My name is Angie and today we're going to be talking about moving a little bit slower. I know a lot of our vlogs are highlight reels of the things that we've been doing, but sometimes things move just a little bit slower and I'm going to show you guys kind of what that looks like. With our lives seeming as exciting as it is, we still have this list of chores that we need to do just like everybody else. Cooking and cleaning, changing sheets and doing laundry, vacuuming the floors and tidying up catch-all areas. It may not get done as frequently as everybody else may make it happen, but it's still always on the radar. Even on a homestead, you still find time to make some fun. And one of the things I like to do is go antiquing. I happened to find this hand crocheted coverlay on Marketplace for like 20 bucks. How beautiful is it? Once I've done my inside chores for the day, or the morning rather, I like to head outside when we're at probably the coolest part of the day while being provided sunlight. Get out in the garden and start the harvest and of plant maintenance. This year we grew a lot of cool weather varieties. So not so much on the tomatoes and peppers, which is good because this was a terrible tomato and pepper year. But we have all kinds of cauliflower, cabbage, and broccoli. So part of the maintenance is the unself blanching heads that I didn't realize I planted this year. So what you like to do with cauliflower is tie up the leaves over top or they turn yellow like the one here, but it's still beautiful and delicious. It's just not white. A little bit of harvesting some herbs for some lemongrass and mint tea, which is something that I drink a lot of in the summer. And it's super easy to make. I just take some lemongrass leaves and some mint, put them in my tea ball and drop a couple tea bags in some hot water and brew away. I like to make about a couple quarts or a gallon at a time and that gets me through the whole week. The optimal time to get out and do bee chores is at the highest heat of the day, which means most of the workers are out foraging and there's less bees in the hive to contend with. Doing some regular scheduled bee maintenance, just do a hive inspection, see how everybody's doing. This brown hive we um, recently requeened, so just kind of checking up and seeing how she's doing. And this hive, we got a new queen about a month and a half ago after the last one disappeared. And this white hive was a nice little swarm we caught. And the swarm was from our own bees and she is doing phenomenal. Now on to a little bit of garden maintenance. We are removing the fence around our garlic bed. We harvested garlic probably like two or three weeks ago and it's drying in the house. But uh, got to do a little bit of maintenance for the garlic bed. So what we are doing is taking a black plastic cover and putting that over the top of the garlic bed. So we're basically solarizing, which is we're basically cooking the weeds underneath. So when in a couple months we're ready to plant some garlic, the bed is weed free and ready to rock and roll. Um, garlic does not appreciate any competition at all, so it's best to try to keep it as weed free as possible. And that's what we're doing here. And another method of having fun and playing on Marketplace, and we got this driveway grater for the International, and he's given us a nice little test. 
And we are still battling this leaf spot. Our orchard looks horrible. Um, this looks like the earliest onset when we saw it on the cherry trees. But this is what it looks like when we're treating the orchard with the copper fungicide. And since we are looking at a school night, one of the things I like to do the most is grab a glass of wine, pull my hammock out into the yard, enjoy my beautiful garden that I've worked so hard on curating, grab my laptop, and start a little bit of editing for my videos so I have a little bit less to do on the weekends, and enjoy nature. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.